Welcome to another lesson in the HDX Academy video series. In this video, we'll go over the HDX display operations, focusing on input and selection methods using buttons and knobs with a 10,000 foot level look at Skyview's touch functionality. Touch functions will be covered later in a more comprehensive video. As with almost all features and operations, what will be discussed here will apply to all models of the HDX system. Even the physical design of the HDX bezel and button knob control shelf has been optimized to assure comfortable use in a bumpy cockpit. In almost every instance of touchable items or controls, there are tactile controls to accomplish the same action. Two exceptions to this design objective exist on the map page, where touch gestures are the only method for panning the map display and for maximizing or minimizing the area of the screen occupied by the map. Especially in the case of map panning, the touch gesture has proven to be more effective in turbulence than nearly any other tactile control. For every other menu function in Skyview HDX system, there is a tactile button or knob action that can be applied. Let's take a look at those now. Here we are showing an HDX in the PFD full screen mode, simulating a system that has been fully configured and is in flight. The buttons and knobs you see are used for various functions, including powering the unit on or off, entering information, navigation menus, selecting or activating features, and adjusting values. Skyview displays can be configured to present many combinations of PFD, map, and engine data content. Other screen components include the presentation of engine instruments along the bottom of the screen, and a vertical column of GPS navigational data, which can be displayed on the right or left of the display depending on the selected layout options. Each Skyview HDX display can present many combinations of several types of content. Certified installations under Dynon's STC has specific display layout requirements and limitations. Installers and users should be aware of these requirements and limitations, referring to the Skyview HDX System Installation Manual for layout requirements and the Skyview HDX Airplane Flight Manual Supplement for display limitations. On the bottom of the screen is the main menu. The text on the screen corresponds to the functions of the eight buttons and two knobs on the bottom of the bezel. Buttons generally require a single action, that is, to momentarily press and release the button. Pressing the button will provide a distinct tactile click feedback to the user. When a button is pressed, a function or action denoted by the label above the button is invoked. Button labels are contextual and may change depending on menus and feature control pages the pilot selects. A button has a function if there is a label above it. If there is no label, there is no function. Some buttons have additional behaviors. Using a momentary press action, a screenshot can be saved to a USB stick by pressing a combination of buttons two and seven. A system reset can be accomplished with a momentary combination press of buttons one, two, and five. To enter the setup menu, a press and hold action of buttons seven and eight is required. If in flight, this action will result in an abbreviated setup menu with further instructions on how to enter the full setup menu. If the map page is being displayed, the knob closest to that page will always default to those functions associated with map functions, such as zooming. Here we see the map page on the left side of the display, meaning that the map zooming and other functions are now active on the left knob. The same is true if the map page is on the right side. Although the HDX touch makes inputting information easy, there are those times when in flight, you may choose to use the knob for this task. Rotating the knob will scroll through character selection and a push on the knob will complete the selection. If you need to move the cursor back, push and hold until the cursor retreats. This is done for each position. Currently, the left knob function is assigned to the heading bug, and the right knob function is assigned to the map. On some screen pages with both vertical lists 
and horizontal tabs. One or both knobs can exhibit a push, hold, and rotate behavior. This controls horizontal scrolling of the cursor across tabs on some feature pages. The main menu at the bottom of the Skyview HDX screen is quite simple and intuitive. Four of the seven main menu buttons, Direct 2, Nearest, Information, and Flight Plan are related to mapping and flight planning features. Direct 2 opens the info menu for easy access to select and confirm information about a potential destination. The nearest feature opens a list of various navigational data, such as airports, fixes, nav aids, etc. This may be used as flight plan waypoints or selected to call up additional information. Each list is sorted by proximity to either the aircraft's position or the position of the panning cursor on the moving map. It is important to remember that if you have selected a different location on the map page or the cursor, the nearest information is based on the location of the cursor. This can be a very powerful feature when searching for information while en route. Selecting the button labeled FPL opens Skyview's integrated flight planning window, showing the current flight plan Skyview is navigating. This is an exciting feature of the HDX system, and we will be talking much more about Skyview's robust flight planning features in another lesson. The remaining three buttons, six, seven, and eight, are system operation or status related. Menu will provide the user with a comprehensive selection of items relating to many system configuration options, features, and utility functions. Controlling the main screen contents is done through the display button. This provides a user with several screen configuration options. You will learn much more about the display functionality as we progress through more HDX Academy lessons. Button 8 is associated with the Skyview system messages. It provides access to a pop-up page displaying messages, alerts, and warnings. This menu item will be labeled as no message when there are no messages or warnings. The Dynon Skyview HDX system is an integrated, fully functional avionics system with a user interface designed with the GA pilot in mind. This means the Dynon engineers try very hard to keep operational menu systems simple and intuitive. The user will find access to operational menus easy using the system's buttons and knobs, a significant advantage during turbulent flight. Thank you for watching this HDX Academy lesson. Be sure to keep up on all the latest Dynon news and information by subscribing to our channel and our email list. Our mission at Dynon is to create the best avionics and aircraft systems for light aircraft. And since 2000, we've been doing just that.